Known for its small size, the pygmy hog is the smallest species of wild pig, scientifically known as Porcula salvenia and Nol gahauri or Takuri bora in Assamese. It is found only in the grasslands of Manas Tiger Reserve of Assam in India. In the past, they were found in a narrow belt of grasslands south of the Himalayan foothills in Uttar Pradesh, Nepal, Bihar, North Bengal and Assam. The adult pygmy hog measures about 65 cm and 25 cm in height and weighs in at around 8 to 9 kilos or under 20 pounds. Males are a little bigger than females and can be identified by their moustache. A vestigial tail and only three pairs of mammary glands distinguish it from the wild boar, which despite being much larger, often gets confused with pygmy hogs. Pygmy hogs survive in tall grasslands and feed on roots, tubers, wild fruits, termites, earthworms and eggs found in the grassland. With the extinction of tall, wet grasslands in the region, the pygmy hog is currently restricted to a single viable population in the wild in Manas Tiger Reserve and a couple of reintroduced populations in Sonai Rupai Wildlife Sanctuary and Orang National Park. Pygmy hog is also mentioned in the red list category of the IUCN and is categorized as critically endangered, putting it amongst the most threatened of all animals. It is impossible to see pygmy hogs in their wild natural habitat as they are very shy animals. Pygmy hogs are very sensitive animals and their survival is closely linked to the existence of the tall, wet grasslands of the region, which, besides being a highly threatened habitat itself, is also crucial for survival of a number of other endangered species. With the aim to saving the species and its habitat, the Pygmy Hog Conservation Programme, or PHCP, is trying to conserve pygmy hogs and other such endangered species of the tall grasslands of the region through field research, captive breeding and reintroduction after adequate restoration of degraded former habitats. We started this project in 1996. Actually, uh, a, a memorandum of understanding was signed between uh, two uh, uh, government organizations and two NGOs which I'll come to a little later and uh, 1995 and 1996 this captive breeding center was established and since then we have been working towards conservation of this species. The main primary aim of this project is actually save this highly critically threatened species called pygmy hog from extinction because it was reduced to just one population in the world which was also declining and uh, apart from that, one of the underlying theme of this project is to manage the grasslands where the pygmy hogs lived for all other threatened and endangered species of those grasslands. Because pygmy hog is such a sensitive indicator species, we think that if we manage the habitat for pygmy hogs requirement, other species also will benefit a lot. As I said, the, we had signed an agreement uh, between the Forest Department of Government of Assam and the Ministry of Environment and Forest, Government of India on one side, and the Darrell Wildlife Conservation Trust, which is based in Jersey, in Channel Islands, and uh, the IUCN uh, Species Survival Commission's Wild Pig Specialist Group, and uh, 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 the Ecosystems India, our local trust, manages this project in collaboration with uh, uh, others. So basically you are talking about three NGOs and two government organizations and this was at that point of time one of the first projects of its kind where government organizations and NGOs have come together uh, for its, uh, conservation projects like this in India. PHCP maintains a captive population of about 50 hogs and has reintroduced 60 hogs over five years in Sonai Rupai Wildlife Sanctuary and Orang National Park. Our captive breeding success was quite phenomenal in the sense that Earlier it was believed that this, it is very difficult to breed this species because there were several attempts before this. Uh, in fact, the first time this animal went out of the country was 1890s when two, a few animals went to London Zoo from Assam. Later, uh, this species almost disappeared. So by 60s, 1960s, it was, a, uh, it was believed by many that this species has become extinct. Then suddenly in 1971, there was a rediscovery of uh, this species and uh, after that there were several attempts to uh, conserve this species in many ways. 
The only captive breeding center in Assam is located at Bashisht, a few kilometers away from Guwahati, the capital city of Assam. With a quarantine facility and enclosures suitable for pygmy hogs, this captivity program, pioneered by Dr. Gautam Narayan, is a truly successful one. When we started this project, we had applied for capturing 15 pygmy hogs, but the government permitted us to capture only six pygmy hogs, saying that they are so rare that we cannot start this project with 15. So when we started with six under government uh, rule, uh, we were hopeful that we will be doing success, but we did phenomenally good in the sense that within, uh, within five years, we multiplied our population by 12 times. So there were 70 plus animals by two, early uh, 2001 or 2002. So basically, although we had a very good success in breeding them in captivity and managing them in cap captivity, we didn't have so much success in releasing them in initial stages of the project. So we so far, till this year, May 2014, we have released 85 different pygmy hogs in two places, 15 in Orang and 35 in, uh, earlier 35 in Sonarupai Wildlife Sanctuary. And they are released in small groups, groups of four, five at the most. Before release in the wild, these hogs are taught to survive independently at a pre-release facility in Putasali Nameri Tiger Reserve, which allows them to live in a semi-wild condition, away from human interference. When the pygmy hog babies are like uh, five months old, uh, we select the uh, hogs from the different families and make a small group and transfer them to our, from our breeding station to the pre-release enclosures. And in a group, there will be a five or six hogs. And in, uh, in the group, there may be a few juveniles and a few sub adults and maybe one or two young hogs. And then we transfer them to these pre-release enclosures and we maintain the animals there for uh, five months. You can see this is a semi-wild uh, habitat and in, uh, in the habitat, in, in the enclosure, there is a small uh, feeding crawl. Uh, we manage the hogs here in different way. We don't manage the hogs, we manage in our breeding uh, center. We feed them twice in a day, but uh, we don't feed them in feeding trays or uh, we don't give the quantity of food we give them in our uh, feeding uh, our breeding center. One of the major challenges in this project has been to uh, manage the habitat for the requirements of the pygmy hog. Unfortunately, the la last surviving uh, wild population in Manas uh, is not doing very well because of uh, the uh, con con continuous pressure, pressure on the uh, grassland habitat in Manas. The, there is still continuing uh, some amount of dry, dry season extensive grass burning which is one of the major uh, factors which has deteriorated some of these grasslands. The other main challenge is actually to continue this project uh, and, the, uh, and the resources, both human resources and the financial resources. Pygmy hog is an extremely shy and sensitive animal. It does not tolerate human or livestock incursion into habitat. It just vacates and goes away from there. So, or one of the main challenges is how do we manage and protect these habitats? And that's the issue we are fighting with. This whole exercise, but it has taken us a long time. We're talking about 18 years of sustained work by a few dedicated people who are working with us in this project. The extinction of pygmy hogs and many other endangered mammals will be a great loss to the whole world and therefore the awareness and participation of people in support to save this animal is a must.